Hello, I'm glad you've joined us for our week of prayer. Today's focus, Monday's focus, is from hate to hope. We need to pray that God will drive away prejudices in our own hearts yeah. and transform us into agents of hope for everyone around us to see. You know, a good place to start is in ourselves. You got that right. <laughs> and this is a good thing to pray. Say, Father, search me and know me. If there is any wickedness in my heart, if there is anything that is displeasing to you, please remove it from me. And, you know, we have to be honest with God. You know, when he shows us something that's not right in our life, that doesn't line up with his word, things like holding a grudge, maybe unforgiveness that's there. You know, when you pray that, God search me and know me, the Holy Spirit will tell you and prompt you in your heart. And at that time, then you need to ask God to forgive you, release it into the Father's hands, and let his love and mercy and grace work in your life so that you can pray honestly. Yes. So tonight, I'm going to start in prayer. Father, we do pray, search us and know us. Lord, if there is any wicked way in us, God, we want it removed from us. Mm -hmm. Lord, we want this world to see the hope that they can find in you. And God, we want to be an instrument used for your kingdom, for your glory. Lord, I just pray right now that you would just sweep across this nation, Lord God, and that you would bring healing to the hearts of people. God, that you will forgive us for our prejudices, that you would release us from hate. God, that we would be so filled with the love of Christ, that Christ would be seen in each one of us. Father, would you please bring hope and healing to lives, Lord God, that need you. And Heavenly Father, we thank you that even as the message on Sunday morning was about taking care of, letting you take care of our past, Lord. We, we've all had things in our past that we may have regretted or um, just have a hard time releasing them, forgiving people, just as Pastor Dorothy said. Lord, I pray that you would help us, Lord, to not live under the guilt of our past, but to live forward to to let the healing in our lives have an impact on our future that because you forgave us so much we can forgive others and lord we know that every life matters that you you created us equal in your sight and that you made us fearfully and wonderfully it says in the scripture you knit us together in our mother's womb and so we come to you this night asking that you would help us to be more like you, Jesus. That you would not only work in us, but work through us to release other people. And to see the glory of God spread in our nation, Lord. And we can do that by first working in our own lives. Lord, forgive me of my sin. Forgive me of all my unrighteousness. Forgive me of the prejudices that I have kept. Forgive me, Lord, for holding the grudge. Forgive me and, and set me free. And then, Lord, um, as we've been talking for a long time in our church, we need to say that, you know, we love each other and that we forgive each other, and that we're sorry that we sin, and that we become thankful people. So before we leave tonight, I want to say, Father, I am so thankful and so grateful for all the forgiveness that you have given me and Pastor Dorothy, for all the healing that you've done in our lives, for the healing of your church, for the healing of our community, for the healing of our nation. And we just lift our nation and ask, Lord God, that you would intervene. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. We want you to remember, stay in the word, stay in, stay prayer, in prayer, and, and stay, stay connected. connected.